same way a senator has been proposed to have an oversight fund to oversight the governors, huh, to play the oversight role, we are proposing, let us uh, build capacity for members of county assemblies. We've seen members of county assemblies being bought left, right, and center because they do not have a fund. That will make them autonomous from, uh, the, govern uh, from the governor. Lastly, on the issue of entrenchment of the, uh, uh, the two officers, the leader of opposition and the office of the prime cabinet secretary, we support, and especially as Kenya Kwanzaa, we want to affirm that we support the entrenchment of the leader of opposition. It is our considered view that parliament should enact the legislation to establish the office of the leader of opposition. This is an important office in promoting inclusivity. We have repeatedly witnessed violence after every electoral cycle due to the perceived winner-takes-it-all scenario. Creation of this position would be a mean to alleviate, uh, to alleviate the perennial problems, strengthening oversight and deepening democracy. Honorable Chair, we are conscious of the Bill of Rights as enshrined in the Constitution. We propose a legislation to regulate the rights to demonstration and picketing Sorry. enshrined in Article 37. Thank Lastly, you, the, le the legislation should specifically address and provide mechanism to bar political leaders who lead violent demonstrations from vying from any further elected position. Further, the legislation should mandate the organizers of the demonstration to gazette the venue, time, and reason for picketing. The, the, the legislation should provide measures that will ensure the leaders and organizers of violent demonstrations which may occasion destruction of property and loss of life to be held liable. These will encourage sanity and order in our political class. That is our submission as Kenya Council. Thank you, thank you, SG. I think you're done and thank you very much. I only want to ask you one question. Yeah. In the case of the office of the... Uh, of official of the leader of opposition should that person sit in the senate or in the national assembly uh for power outside no, just 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 not down just not down not down and i've got a follow-up question uh so say for the for the about two or so words that you uttered i hope you could listen to me okay SG, yeah. can, can listen yes, yes. to to andai yes i was getting worried because uh, in the memorandum that you alluded to, that was sent to Parliament, and in your written memorandum here. Is that a written memorandum? What is, what is this? No, Sorry. No, no, no. That's, not, that's yours. No, let's be orderly. We have it. That's not what you express Okay, so we ignore this one. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Chair. You know, mm. uh, our staff have circulated a, a memo. <laughs> it bears no. your name. Uh, I started I started by saying we do not have a written memorandum. We will do oral submissions. But what is this? Yeah. And, and, and this was occasioned by the contents of your letter. You told us to come fair, and fair make enough, fair enough, oral presentation. Fair, fair enough. So we ignore, fair enough. So we ignore this. Ignore. Please, please. Okay. We take a, this is a strange document. Very strange. Very strange. That found its way here strangely. Very strange. Somebody. Okay. Thank you. Now, I, I, was, I was actually going to ask you why are you not as emphatic on the position of on the proposed position of prime cabinet secretary as you are on the position of leader of official position? Uh, it is curious that even this document which I have now refused to, I, I will not now refer to, you seem not to be uh, emphasizing the creation of that office contrary to perceptions that have been in the public domain. Could it be as a result? Of the fears. No, no, no. That, no, relax. <laughs> Could it be as a result of the fears that uh, from some quarters that this office, if created or if entrenched in the Constitution, is going to water down the power and influence of the office of the Deputy President? And could this perhaps be the cause of the incessant anti dialogue outbursts out there? Finally, finally. What is your take on the issue of the 
tax taxes the taxes which were brought about by the finance 